Let's start with moisturizer and um, today I'm going to use something that I've made myself. It's sort of strobe cream um, that I've learned from Holly. She's an um, English makeup um, artist and she also has another channel. She's just became a vegan, I think, a year or two years ago. She's really lovely. I will try to find that video to how she makes her own strobe cream and link it. I make it a bit differently. So basically, I put any moisturizer that I use in a little pot. Then I add a bit of the Rimmel Good to Glow. And then these additives, which are little powders they usually use um, for nails but you have to make sure that they are cosmetic grade so you can use it on your face and I have here magic red magic gold and magic violet basically you want something pinky gold um, you can get these from CND shellac additives and if you find um, good colors um, I don't know if you can see that's what it looks like it gives you this lovely glow because I'm going to be using quite full coverage foundation because I'm not thinking about doing my eyes really um, you know in your face so I like to have my face quite flawless but the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation can be a bit you know flat so I want to use this so I've mixed it all together and I've ended up with that but like I said, I won't tell you much about it. I will try to link Holly's video. So subscribe to her channel. She's beautiful. She does beautiful makeup looks. And she's got her healthy lifestyle channel as well. So if you go over to her, let her know you've come from me. Can you see that... Mm, don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> Can you see that glow? It's just beautiful. So it shouldn't make you um, greasy because obviously you mix it with your moisturizer that is appropriate for your skin tone, uh, for your skin type, sorry. But you can pile it on. Can you see what a lovely glow it gives? So that's my moisturizer done. Now I think I'm going to mix um, two foundations. I'm going to mix Marc Jacobs um, Remarkable Foundation in 28. And I will mix it with NARS um, Sheer Glow in Punjab. It's just, I'm trying to use this one up. You know, it was in my... 2016 news up video. I love the color of it. I mean, if I could have every foundation exactly the same color, I would be happy. But I'm not that crazy about the foundation. So I will do just one side first because you know what the remarkable foundation is like. You just need that much and you get incredible coverage. So let's start with that and i've told you this before with my remarkable foundation i love using this it, it cosmetics brush i don't know what number it is but i think it comes with um, it comes with the foundation you know the powder foundation i'm not going too much under my eyes because it is quite thick foundation, so I don't want that under my eyes. I will just um, do my concealer on that. Okay. Just tiny bit. That probably will do my whole forehead. Sorry about my phone, but I think someone is WhatsApping me. 
it might be my brother actually because I think he's gone back he's gone back home yesterday yeah I would advise if you're using the remarkable foundation to do it in little areas because so you don't overdo it Yeah, I will turn it down in a minute. My nose repels foundation, so I always put a bit more and I do it with my fingers because I find with the brush I get like brush strokes. Okay, let's do the concealer. As usual, I'm going to use first Naked Skin, Urban Decay Naked Skin in Medium Light Neutral. And that's just to go right under my eyes. Let's use this side of the brush. I use some on my eyelid. And now to um, sort of highlight uh, my under area, I'm going to use the Last Imperfection from Collection. Um, you might remember from my vlog, I bought it. Um, this is in Cool Medium, which is a bit pinky, but that should uh, brighten up as well. I usually go for yellow. And I haven't used it much, so I want to see what it's like. I don't have a, let's do it with my finger first. It's very creamy, it's thick but very creamy. Quite like it but I don't know how. You will hear about it probably in one of my favorite videos. Oh, not so favorite. Yeah, it is really nice. Don't know if it creases or how it performs throughout the day yet because I have used it but I haven't been taking any notice really. A lot of you ask me about um, um, eyeshadow primer, what eyeshadow primer I use. If I use any, I've used the Urban Decay one or I use the ELF, it's not Mineral one, it's the, the cheapest one. Oh, I just put um, concealer and powder it. Okay, I'm going to set my under eye con concealer and normally I would do it with my banana powder by Ben Knight, but I've run out. So I've got his um, cameo powder, which is sort of very light beige and I still prefer my banana one, but I don't have any. So pat it all in, make sure it's not creasing before you powder it. Let's pat it with Beauty Blender a bit. And then let's set it. And I set my eyelids as well. And then do the same with the other I Always make sure that it's not creased before you put powder on it. And I sort of set it in the middle as well. Now I am going to lightly set the rest of my face with the By Terry um, Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. It's just a translucent, very finely milk powder. I don't set with it under eyes because you know what? I, I try to do... A bit of baking with it under my eyes and it was terrible you you could just see on the camera the white under your um, eyes so it's not good for that and I will do a video as well about the baking for us more mature ladies 
Okay, now I'm going to warm up my face a bit and I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Beauty Balm Bronze Booster in light to medium. And that's another product that I'm trying to use up, um, not because I don't like it, it is quite light and therefore it's really good for this time of the year. And it has a bit of shimmer in it, but it doesn't really show on your face. But because of that, it doesn't give you that flat look. So this is sort of instead of contouring, I just want to warm up my face because, you know, with that very um, high coverage foundation from Marc Jacobs, your face can look very flat, like just one dimensional. I go a bit down my neck. It is so light that powder, you can't really overdo it. So, if you are quite pale, even paler than me. Oh, I must have scratched a spot. I'm bleeding. That's attractive. Okay, now I'm going to do sort of contouring, you know, just a bit down my cheekbones. And I tell you what I've been using that has been in the back of the drawer is the Elf Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder in San Lucia. And I don't really use this because it is very light and it doesn't have very good pigmentation, but the bronzer is perfect for contouring. It's really, really nice. Oh, and I'm using the um, Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush number 56. Love this brush for contour because it's just has the right amount of stiffness. So I use it almost like a darker bronzer. Now for my blush, I think I'm going to use today MAC Peachy Keen. And then Mary Luminizer for my highlight. And that's my foundation done. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows, but I'll do that um, off camera. I will soon do my eyebrow routine for you, but this will take far too long if I'm doing my brows as well on camera. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows and for my eyes, I'm going to use Becca Ombre Nude Palette, Ombre Nude. I might actually, um, I might actually use a primer and I don't know if you can still get this one. It's L'Oreal Colorish. It's like in a chubby pen, pencil form. It's called Base um, Fixing and Unifying Eyeshadow Primer. I forgot I've got it but I quite like it and I thought I use it just on my Um, mobile lid because you know that's going to brighten it up and you know I like doing that. Can you see how that's brightened up the lid? It's a bit 
it's not as creamy. I think it was creamy when I first bought it. I don't know if it dries out. It sort of drags your eyelid and you don't want that. But I like the colour of it and the coverage that it gives you. It's okay, but I wouldn't say it's a must-have. Okay, so from the ombre palette, I'm going to take the middle shade. Actually, I will take the second lightest and I will do my crease. And this is going to be really, really quick. Look. My foundation always takes me the longest, really. Because I like that flawless look. I think the crease is the most important thing that you can do if you have hooded eyes. And you should always do the crease colour really with a matte eyeshadow because if you put sparkly eyeshadow that will bring your hoods forward. Do a bit darker outside because again if you do it darker here you're pushing the hoods back. Not literally but <laughs> optical illusion. And now on my mobile lid I will use the um the lightest shade which is very much skin tone might use a bit of it just under the arch the arch of my eyebrow Now I might take the middle colour just to darken my crease slightly. I am being a very natural today, which you know is very difficult for me. And I just go very, very slightly right under my socket bone. Make a very thin line, almost like a baby cut crease you're almost pushing the brush like under the bone and just go in there you see i'm almost pushing my eye in and you will get it just in the right place doesn't matter how good your eyes are i suppose it all depends where your bone socket bone is now I go one darker as well and do the same. As you can see, I'm not doing any outer V. I've pulled my eyeshadow from that crease a bit upwards. This is just like every day, quick, no fast makeup and a bit more natural. I'm trying to do for your more natural looks because I know it's very hard. Not everybody likes the in your face looks, which I often do. Okay, uh, now I'm going to take a pencil brush and I will go uh, with the middle color. Middle color. It's very easy, it's only five of them, so you can't go wrong. And I will just slightly shade my lower lash line. That's it. And um, now I'm going to do very, very thin line with uh, the darkest eyeshadow. So with your brush, and I'm just going to go really close to my lash line, 
just darken my lash line a bit. I sometimes wing it, but you don't have to do it. And now I'm going to do my mascara. Now mascara, Kika Ultra Tech. <laughs> I know you're probably sick of seeing it, but I like it. But like I said, not everyone might like it because it is very odd brush. It has like different type of bristles each side. And at first you might think, oh, don't like it. But when you use it for a bit and decided which side does what and how you want to use it. It's fabulous. I spent a very long time on my lashes. I brush them through and go over. So I do spend time building my lashes up. Okay, so that's the eyes done. Now for my lipstick, I'm going to use Maxo. smudge it a bit and for my lipstick something I haven't used in ages is Mac's MAC pink plate it's a matte one isn't it yeah but I really like this color that's my makeup done. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I see you soon. Bye!